creating the check empty field method. Before we do that, we need to check and see whether the button is being pressed as the register button is being pressed. So if the user click on the register button, then run the logic. So over here, we'll check and see whether it's set. Meaning that the, a key parameter is being present. This one will be set color underscore post. So this one will be submit button. So if it's set, meaning that the user has click on this one, the register button, then over here, let's echo button was press to check and see whether our logic is working fine so now click on it so as you can see we are getting something over here button was pressed so meaning that our logic has worked fine so over here we will create an empty array the empty array will store or error message so this one will create a variable called form underscore errors which is equal to our array so this one will just be an empty array which is this one then we'll create another variable called required underscore fails Which is also another array. So the required field is what? The required field is our email, the full name, the username, and also the password. We want all the input field to be required. So over here, we'll place it here. We'll use the name field. So the first one is email. And the second one, password. Then username, then full underscore name. So this one is our required fields, the fields that we are requiring. And this one is over here is what will contain the error message. So this one over here will contain our error message. Then what are you supposed to do over here? So this one be dollar forms error is equal to this one. So what am I trying to do? Remove this one from here. This error array underscore merge method will merge the element of one or more arrays together. So this one, so this one over here is our form underscore errors, which is this one. Then the second parameter, comma, the second parameter over here will be our function. So this one will be check underscore empty underscore fails. Then this one will be dollar fails which is this one so we are checking to see whether the email is not empty or the password is not empty or the username is not empty or the full name so if either of them is empty then we'll get an error so copy this one from here go to your functions over here just type function and paste it here so now this is what we have this is what we have so what are we going to do? That's the question we need to ask ourselves. What are we going to do? For the meantime, let's do var underscore dump. Or let's just return that I require underscore fields. Just return it. Right. Then over here, let's do var underscore dump. Dollar form errors which is semicolon okay so now this is what we have okay so as you can see over here there is an array this is the name and the value 
So if I want to get the email and the index is zero, if I want to get the password, the index is one. If I want to get the username, the index is two. If I want to get the full name, the index is three. Now, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to look through this one. Using for each, I want to get the value. That's the email. This is what I want. I don't want this one. The index. I want the name. So to get that, I'll use a for each to look through. So this one over here will be. Remove this one from here. So create another empty array. So this one will be form underscore errors, which is this one. Then over here will be for each. And over here, let's just return form field. No, not this one. Let's just return the require field, which is this one. Okay, so now go back. We are getting something right. On court error, array underscore match on line seven. Okay. On line seven, which is this one, which is good, right? Because of this one, okay. Don't worry, okay. But now let's comment on this one. Let me show. I want to show you guys something. Comment on this one. And just call the function. Check. Then this one be required field. Right, okay, and over here, let's echo this one instead of making it require field, you can give it a name. So this one will be name of underscore of field, which is okay. So then over here, let's echo dollar name underscore field in semicolon. Okay, so now we have the email. We have the password, we have the username, we also have the full name. So this one is the name field, right? This is what we want. So we are going to check and see whether the email, which is this one, is not empty. So if the email is empty, then we will display an error. Or we are going to check and see whether the password is not empty. So if the password is empty, we will display an error over here. That's what we are going to do using the name field. Okay, so we move this one from here. So this one be if set. I'm using exclamation meaning that if not set, if not set dollar underscore post name field. So what I'm trying to do is that I'm checking to see whether the one of the key if what if the email which is this one if the email is empty or this one the full name is empty or this one is empty then display an error okay so over here we have this one over here Right, so over here too, we'll check again, or we'll check and see what dollar underscore post. If this one is triple equal to now, meaning it's empty, right? If this one is now, then over here will be dollar forms error. Then this one over here, then equal to what? Dollar name field, then we'll concatenate it with a string. It's a required field, meaning that whatever is here will be the required field. Then over here, outside the for each, we'll just return. This one we just return. Is it? 
So now let's go back to our register. Remove this one from here. Remove this one from here. Yeah. And on comment on this one. Let's go back to our browser. Now click on it. I are not seeing anything because you are not printing anything out. Now let's do one underscore dump. Over here, there is it. So as you can see over here, email is a required field. Password is a required field. Username is a required field. Full name is a required field. So you can choose to do anything that you want over here. So over here you can choose to make it email is required. Right, or email is a required field, right? But let's make it email is required. So now, the next thing that I want us to do is that we don't want it this way. Remove this one from here. So now, the next thing I want us to do is what? I want us to create a function to display the error message for us. To display the error message for us. That's what I want us to do a function to display an error message for us so the function will show errors so anytime that we want to show the error we'll call that function so over here we'll create another function so this one will be function show underscore errors to take one parameter that is the form underscore errors underscore array so there is it. Then over here will be dollar errors, which is equal to, and this one will be URL. And the class, we'll give it a class of this one will be back tick. So this one will be form underscore errors. Okay. Then semicolon. Then over here, we'll look through the errors. Since it's an array, we'll look through the error and append it to the list. So over here will be for each as the underscore error. So over here will be dollar errors, which is this one. And we'll append it towards li. And this one over here, we we'll use this sign. Then inside it will be our error, which is this one. So this one will be dollar a underscore error. Then this one will be li again, then semicolon. Then over here to we'll append it. So this one will be dollar errors dot, then this one. Then after that, we'll return the errors. So this one will just be return dollar errors. Okay, so now this is what we have. So let's go and test and see whether our logic is working fine. So where are we going to display the error? But before we do that to, okay, let's go and test and see before. So over here, open up your PHP tab and close it here. So over here will be if not empty. Dollar forms error. So we are checking to see whether the forms error is not empty, which is this one. So if it's not empty, then it contains something. Then over here will be echo show underscore errors and this one will be forms errors then over will be semicolon okay so now let's go back to our browser so as you can see why email is required username that's password is required username is required and so on click here and display and let me see something Is it let's empty the cache again? Let's go to functions.
Okay. So now let's go and install it so that it looks nice. So now copy this one from here. Go to your public folder CSS register.css over here dot the empacity give it a font size of 15 ps then color to be ampersand e says it one eight three then semicolon and also dot forms errors as form underscore errors then li give it a rate to be five six zero ps then padding to be four ps so let's empty the cache okay but i don't know why this one is not bulleting click here and inspect So what is wrong with this one? I think something is wrong somewhere. Register page. Email. Password. Username. Full name. The forms error is this one. Okay. Realize that this is it. This is where the error is coming from. This one. We are supposed to close it here. Right. This is it. So now let's go back. Okay. So I think I can live with this one. I think I can live with this one. So if... We enter in something here at gmail.com then over here we enter in something and we click here so as you can see over here only the password is required and also the username is required because those two fields are what empty so meaning that our logic has worked so in the next video what we are going to do is that we are going to check and see whether the length of the full name or the username or the password meet our requirements. That's what we are going to do in the next video.